July 10th about 2 a.m. and I'm about to order a Glowforge. I can't even wrap my head around it either. I'm like so mind blown. But um, I want to take you on this uh, journey with me and y'all can learn as I learn and kind of go through the process that I'm going through. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more how to's and behind the scenes. And here is the massive box when I received it. So here I am unboxing the crumb tray, the tubing system for ventilation, and then the accessories. And of course here we have the power cord that will connect to the machine. And now for the fun part, unboxing the proof grade materials. Some of the materials included leather and various woods that you can practice on and they are proof grade so it means that they are Glowforge safe. And here is just a welcome letter from Glowforge. And here is the official unboxing of the machine itself and make sure that you do go to Glowforge's website to see the specific details of the order and everything that you are supposed to set things up. And here is a little extra tidbit that I did not know before getting it is that you will not want to destroy the box if you do have any problems with it. That box will save you a bunch of money, so make sure not to destroy that box. And once again, make sure that you go to Glowforge's website for the specific details and order of removing these pieces. But if you're a visual learner like me, hopefully this helps for removing these parts so you can get to work on your Glowforge. And just to reiterate, make sure that you gently and evenly push back the middle lever so you can easily remove these bright orangish red tabs. And once again, in case you missed it, and just to reiterate, do not lose these orangish red tabs either because they will be very important if for some reason you have troubles with your machine and need to send it back it will keep the machine in place for shipping and a little tidbit for the crumb tray right here just make sure you feel it slide into place and you'll be good to go and again just make sure you gently and easily slide this over and this will be the part that you want to be the most cautious with because this is kind of the brains of your machine. So just be extra careful and cautious when doing this part of your setup. And I did leave the audio on this part of the video just so you make sure you can hear this click sound to make sure that you have this piece in place. And I also added a little visual on the screen so you know when it's happening, coming up very shortly. And the only helpful tip I have for this part is just make sure that that ribbon of electrons or whatever you want to call it is not all tangled up and flows evenly because this will be what the head of the machine moves on. So make sure that you're not tangled up there. All right, closing the lid to prepare for the first cut. So here I am getting ready for the first cut. I just used medium draft board for this. And the system is cloud-based, so just waiting on the green light 
or blue light to begin my first print. And now for the magic touch. And here is my first cut. I did choose to do something a little bit different than most other people. Um, a lot of people choose the gift of good measure and I chose to do a puzzle. So that was super cool to see the process of this little mini puzzle being cut. Now I'm just waiting for the machine to cool down so I can open the lid and get my puzzle out. And here's a TikTok of my first two projects, the mini puzzle and then a keychain that turned out super, super beautifully. And of course I had to do a pair of cactus earrings. There's my mini puzzle. Thanks so much for watching and if you're interested in purchasing a Glowforge, my referral link will be in the description.